Okay guys, um, it's Nick again, and we're gonna be doing an unboxing of my new, one of my new scopes, the Williams Optic Z73. So, as per every video before, I did unbox so I don't dox myself, but I will now be removing the package from the box. So, there were some reviews online. I didn't see too many about this scope. Um, let me adjust the camera here up a little bit. It's a big package. Okay. So, first off the bat, I really like they included a nice carrying case. That's... I expected that from them, but it's something very nice that I wasn't anticipating. Okay, and right off the bat, there we go. So, let's see. Oh, look at that. We have a product warranty card with our serial number. Has a check mark with included accessories. Warranty card, focuser, fine focus with tension, paint. That's very nice. Inspected by on the date of uh, three, so oh, not that not that long ago, March thirty first, twenty twenty. So it's very new, a young little guy. So we have this padded area here, and that includes this looks like a bag carrying strap. That's pretty nice. We can put that back. In. We don't need that right now. And then we have a nicely labeled bag that says screws. I believe this has a few different um, focusing ring tubes, uh, tube screws. This is the top dovetail mounting bracket, which I will be using. I will not be using the, um, I will not be using a ZWO uh, guide scope. I will be using my Orion guide scope on this. And last but not least, we have our scope. Ooh, that's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy for a pretty small package there. Okay, so we'll get that out of the way. Get a nice look at the scope there. Right off the bat, I mean, I can already tell just by the sheer weight of it um, that it is a very nice, it's gonna be a very nice um, setup and I'm really gonna enjoy um, having this guy. So this is gonna be my kind of, um, wide field my main scope is a celestron edge hd8 so that has a focal length of 2032 millimeters so not quite wide field but right away this is a very very nice scope um, i'm surprised by the finish it's like more of a matte finish than i anticipated and obviously when we extend out we can extend out the dew shield there <clears throat> so there's the scope Fully extended. Um, I'll see if I can use a reference point. It's about as long as the bag that it came in, right there. Maybe a little bit longer, um, but still very, very nice. Right away, you can tell this is some superior craftsmanship. I mean, you know, just having the name on the bottom plate, um, the brushed aluminum look. I really, really like the way this thing looks. Um, even, you know, having the William Optics logo everywhere really is nice. Um, there's some pretty cool features that this has. Um, first one is a thermometer. Something pretty interesting. I didn't think you would see on there. Um, we have a, you know, a little protector there. Keeps dust out of your imaging train. Now, this is pretty neat. I did see somebody kind of reviewing this, but not too much in depth. It actually has a cap that protects the fine focusers so that's pretty neat um i don't want to play with it too much in case there's a focus lock i'm gonna have to look at that um here are the adjustments for the o-rings or yeah o-ring let's see if they have the name here um uh mounting rings so that allows you to mount on different um rails on the bottom this dovetail one it's actually one of the reasons I chose to go with this one. Um, I like that it came with the that dovetail, but I also like that it has the um, dovetail on the top. This is the dual dovetail version. Um, then we go to the end of the scope. We see Williams Optics diffraction spikes. So this is obviously um, going to be the fat knob mask. Let me take that off. I unfortunately have to put it down for that, but I can still do it on the camera for everybody. 
So, built into the lens cap is a clear Batsonov mask, which is insanely cool. Um, it's really something that shows that, you know, they put a lot of thought into this, into this scope. Um, they really wanted you to get a quality scope. So, let me put that back on there, and I will uh, slide back down the dew shield here. Okay, and we'll take off that so we can see what we're working with here. So right there, you see Xenostar 73. It is an F 5.9 SMC. Um, this is a doublet as opposed to some of their higher end models, which are triplets, um, but not quite in that range yet. So I will also show it extended, which is very nice. Very nice dew shield. And the extension's very good. I really like the length that they gave on that. Um, I think it's a very nice, very nice looking scope. Right off the bat, my first impression is, you know, everything here is very high quality. Um, you do have a locking point there for the dew shield. So if you do want to lock that in, that probably is a good idea to do. You have the mounts for the dovetail adapter on the top. So you have the dual dovetail configuration. Um, you have some other mounting screws in here. I'm not sure I would play with any of these or really have any adjustments I would need to work with. I don't know if this guy moves. I'm not going to try to force anything right now. Um, oh, yes. Actually, that does move. Sorry. <laughs> so that controls the focuser. And I believe we go to this guy. This is more of the fine focuser. Yep, so you can see that it's for more... Same thing with this for more fine adjustments. So overall, very nice piece of equipment. Very excited to use it. Um, I will be using this with my C-Gem. I know it's a little bit of an overkill for a nine or six pound scope, but um, that's what I have and I'm really excited to get started. So I will update with a video showing kind of how I have it configured and set up. I'm excited to show you guys. Thanks.